Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am here today as part of a fun collaboration with a fellow crafty card making YouTuber. I hope you'll stick around, find out who it is, and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I know that many of you come here for the sheet load of cards, which is when I provide you a free printable each month that gives you a new sketch and cutting guides to create as many cards with that as possible using the fewest sheets of paper and cardstock. Well, there is another crafty YouTuber out there doing the same, so I thought it would be fun to team up with her and we could each try out the other's sketches. Today I am teaming up with Jess Crafts. I will have all of her links in that description box below as well as at the top of the description box I will have a link to her video for today. I hope that if you're not already you'll subscribe to her here on YouTube and if you're on Instagram follow her over there too. Today I'm going to be using one of her templates which she loves to do no scrap templates and I know that you guys enjoy that as well and I'm going to be making eight mini slimline cards. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Jess Crafts template I'll be using today. First off, it was super hard for me to pick just one template to use today, but I did end up going with the 12 by 12 mini slimline template number two. You only need one piece of 12 by 12 pattern paper and of course some cardstock to create eight mini slimline cards. Now I will have a link to the blog post for this template in that description box below if you want to give it a try as well. Now Jess already has videos that show you how to put together each of the templates, but I'm going to switch it up just a little bit, so I'll be showing you today how I do that. In the center of the printable is your cutting guide for your 12 by 12 paper. You notice you're going to end up with lots of pieces because here is a look at the card you're going to create. I love all of the different layers and mats and elements on this. Now the original card set that I saw from Jess Crafts, she used a single background pattern paper to make her cards. So today I'm going to be using a single paper as well, but because I love both sides of the paper, for some of these pieces, I'm actually going to flip it over to the B side. Another way that I'm going to change up the sketch is she has these left and right sides be two different pieces. What I'm going to do, I cut a background piece that is, was as wide as the mini slim line, and then I'll have two pieces of pattern paper that go between them. Luckily, this piece right here will cover up that gap. Let's go ahead and take a look at the paper I'm going to be using today and we'll get started. In front of me is one of my all-time favorite papers. Unfortunately though, I found it after it had already been discontinued. So at my local scrapbook store, which is Busy Scrapping here in Omaha, I picked up every single sheet they had. This is the Crate Paper Open Book clippings. I love this floral on the front, so big and bold. And then on the back is some text. So I think this will look great on this mini slimline card. Like I mentioned, some pieces will use the flowers, others will use the text. One thing I did do beforehand is I went ahead and cut all of the mats and I chose a green that I thought would go well with the leaves on the flowers. And I cut, I think I ended up using like two and a half sheets of cardstock, but I did get all of my mats for the pieces. Now those dimensions are on the Jess Crafts template. Again, the only difference is instead of making this strip 
two different pieces. I made it six inches across by one inch tall. I did also go ahead and cut some off-white six by six pieces of cardstock, and I will be scoring and folding these into my card bases. As I add more products and tools during the process, I will be sure to let you know. But as always, if I leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! I'm going to get started today by cutting my pattern paper. Now if your pattern paper does have a direction, like mine does because of the text on the back, you'll want to make sure you know what that is before you start cutting. For me, I cut strips from the top. I cut three that were two and a half inches tall, two that were one and a half inches tall, and two that were 0.75 or three quarters of an inch tall. Now don't forget you don't have to really remember these instructions or these dimensions because you can always go to Just Crafts blog and download these for yourself. Now once I had those strips from the top I cut each of them down to the final size. The top three are cut to one and a half inches wide and then all of the bottom ones were cut to three inches wide. I went to add my pattern papers to the mats and I realized I forgot some cuts. Because those littlest pieces are to be spread across the card, I did have to bring in a little trimmer and I went ahead and cut these down to one and a half inches since now I'm going to split them beforehand instead of matting them and splitting them in half to fill the card. To get these onto that wide mat, I add adhesive to the back, I place one to the left with even borders around the outside, and one to the right with even borders around the outside. Now you will want to make sure if your pattern paper has a direction to keep this in mind. For me, I just had to make sure the text was reading correctly, but I could pick up any two pieces of the text pattern paper. Once those wider pieces were all ready, I brought in the remaining mats and I added the floral pattern papers flat down on the center of each of these. I continued the process until all the pieces had a green mat. My next step was to get my card bases ready. Since these are six inch squares, I scored them at three inches and folded in half. Now you could definitely just go ahead and hand fold these. The scoring isn't necessary. I just find sometimes with thicker cardstock, this helps a little bit with the fold and then not having the cardstock break. All of the main pieces were ready, so now I can put my card fronts together. I start by getting out three of the center floral pieces that are vertical. I add adhesive to one and I put that to the left with even borders on the outside edges. Then the next one I'm going to put on the right side with even borders on the outside edges. And this way when I add adhesive to the third one which will go in the center, it's easier to find out where that can go and be centered between the outer two. The next piece to go on is that skinny strip across the middle. I tried to center it as best as possible from top to bottom, and this does fill the entire six inches. Now I'm gonna put adhesive on the back of the center piece, which was horizontal, and get that added to the card front as well. I continued this same process until all eight cards had the front decorated. Now you could always add some of these pieces with foam tape, but for me, for ease of mailing, I did go ahead and keep everything nice and flat. Off camera, I went ahead and die cut the sentiments for the front of the card. Since I will be most likely sending these to channel members at the end of the month, I went with the word hello and I die cut it from what they call gold cardstock, I believe, but it's really just kind of a foil, maybe a little bit thicker pattern paper. I added these to the card front with some dots of glitter glue. And then after those were all adhered and dried, 
I wanted to add a little bit more sparkle. So to stick with that gold theme, I brought in my favorite Elizabeth Craft Designs glitter dots that have the clear glittery center and then the gold outer rim. And I added a trio of these to the upper left of the word hello. I again just like these because they're nice and flat and they add a little sparkle. Here are some close-up looks at the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together these eight mini slimline cards using that template from Jess Crafts. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. I know that I had tons of fun using the template and I know I'm going to have to check out more of hers. Now don't forget to go visit her video for the day, which is linked at the top of the description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.